Well, today is Thanksgiving, and while many are eating dinner and watching football, one New Mexico mayor is overseas to make sure Navy sailors away from home can enjoy the holiday too. News 13's Jessica Barone has the story. It's just giving something back to these guys because they're our first line of defense. Ron Lorenz is an Army veteran and now mayor of Capitan, New Mexico. For him, Thanksgiving is about spending time with family and friends. His son Tanner is in the Navy, and when he was stationed in Guam three years ago, he wasn't going to let distance get in their way of celebrating. He was talking to me off and on, and I said, well, I'll uh, plan a trip and come see you on Thanksgiving. Ron flew more than 16 hours and traveled 6,000 miles to visit his son. After making a Thanksgiving meal for Tanner and a few of his friends, he decided to return, making it a new family tradition. Last year, Ron made food for 58 sailors and says he is excited to be cooking again for a third time. It's all my mom's recipes. I, I had a good grandmother's and my mom made sure we knew how to cook. Ron says some of the food he'll be serving up includes ham, turkey, mashed potatoes, and sweet potato pie. He says he made sure to add a bit of New Mexican flair to the meal as well. Besides the turkey, I think everything, you know, that has green chili in it, besides the turkey and the, and the mashed potatoes. Tanner says having his father come to Guam these last few years is something he'll never be able to repay. You forget that you're so far away from home when you got home coming to you. Well, now everyone calls him Pops, so he's just, you know, established more family out here. But Ron says it's all about giving back to the men and women who protect this country yet are so far away from home. It's the way I was raised, and I hope it instilled in my kids that uh, giving back, it's a good thing. I love you, man. Come here, buddy. You Don't you start crying on me. Jessica Barron, Karakui News 13. Well, Ron says he will stay in Guam until Sunday. He says although there aren't official plans for next year, he would love to return.